Hello, and thank you for your interest in my new course, Geospatial Data Science, Data Visualization. And as you may gather by the title, the focus of this course is on visualizing your data within the geospatial data science framework. And by that, I mean using the core technologies of GeoPandas and Jupyter Notebooks. And the first package that we're going to look at is Matplotlib, which is the core of data visualization in Python. We probably won't be using Matplotlib directly very often for creating visualizations. There are higher level interfaces that make things much easier. However, most of them produce Matplotlib objects and understanding Matplotlib will allow you to easily customize the output even from these higher level APIs. And you can do some really powerful things, so it's worth understanding. Matplotlib will allow you to create visualizations either from a NumPy array, which is more common for scientific analysis, or directly from a pandas data frame, which is going to be more common in the context of geospatial data science. And we've already seen a fair amount of visualization with pandas. If you've taken the prereq for this course, which is the first course in the series on geospatial data science about geopandas, However, in this course, we'll see more detail about visualization in pandas and how to modify those visualizations using matplotlib because all of the visualizations produced by pandas are matplotlib objects and they can be directly modified using what you learned about matplotlib. And next, we'll talk about geospatial visualizations using GeoPandas, which is an extension to Pandas for working with geospatial data. GeoPandas makes it really easy to plot out your geospatial data, and you can combine that with what you've already learned about Pandas and Matplotlib to create some really nice production-ready visualizations. And we'll also look at Raster.io, which allows you to load and work with geospatial raster data and images. And Raster.io also allows you to create contour lines from raster data. So this is a raster containing rainfall data, and so we're looking at contours of precipitation. And there's a lot of other things that we can do with Raster.io, as we'll see. We can also load online background maps to provide spatial context to our data using the contextually package. And so this is an example of showing the stamen watercolor background map underneath an outline of the state of Mexico and all the municipalities in that state. Finally, we'll look at Seaborn, which is a very high level plotting API, but Seaborn also produces matplotlib objects that you can modify using what you've already learned about matplotlib. But Seaborn will allow you to create really nice visualizations, often with a single line of code. That might take many lines of code if you were doing it directly in matplotlib. And we'll also look at some interactive libraries that are based on JavaScript, such as Plotly and Bokeh of which can create visualizations from both tabular data and geospatial data. So if this sounds interesting to you, this course is available now on the Udemy platform, and you can Google it or use the link in the notes for this video. And if you register before March 31st, just use the coupon code DATAVIZ to get the introductory price of $9.99 US.